graph is also important because maybe some question will simply ask about the graph and that graphs again will depend on the type of your data. Okay. So depending means one can ask a very simple question. Uh, the data type is this, which graph is appropriate or this graph is used for the qualitative data, quantitative data, both on something like that. Okay. So it again, depending on the variable and graph is a way to represent your data set. So you also understand a little bit idea if, if someone will ask related to the graphs question. So for qualitative, we use mainly two type of graphs, pi and bar. Okay. Pi and bar is not used for quantitative. Be very clear. Pi diagram, you can never use it for the quantitative data because it's it, it, the section is presented presented the categories. Okay, so you cannot use the categories for a continuous thing. The bar is again it is for the qualitative data. Each row represent your each category. For quantitative data, we use the histogram. This is very important plot, box whisker plot. If if the examiner will try to means uh, make an make a difficult question uh, on the easy topic, then they may use this box plot. And we always use, especially for the animal study, you can see always there is a box plot. Okay, so the box plot, what, so what is the difficulty here? Box plot we use to plot the median value. Okay, histogram, we plot the frequency. Box plot, we plot the median value. And this is your median value. Okay, this is your interquartile range Q1 and Q3. Q1 and Q3. If they want to ask more difficult question, then they ask, okay, what is this upper and lower value? This dot. So this is basically, it's like quartile. You can divide your data into the 100 parts, 2.5 and 2.5 means you just remove the 2.5 data from the lower, 2.5 data from the upper. So first is 2.5 and the upper value is 100 minus 2.5 value. Okay, so this, Lower and upper bar will represent that decile. But it's rare, okay? Normal question they can ask simply like, okay, uh, uh, what this bar diagram represents, okay? Then basic question if they will ask for the, so from this section estimation and graph, maybe they will ask a small question uh, just to, understand your basic knowledge.